Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explained. What I have here in my hand is the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Orin. That's the new development kit from NVIDIA aimed at machine learning and automation tasks. But of course, this is a bit of a beast. Also, it could act as an ARM-based PC. You've got 12 cores, 12 core uh, ARM Cortex A78. You've got NVIDIA GPU with 2048 GPU cores based on the Ampere architecture, 32 gigabytes of RAM and so much more. We'll get into the details in a second. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so I'm working on a full review of this developer kit. That will take me a little while longer really to get into the depths of this thing. But I thought we could start with an unboxing and a bit of a tear down and a quick overview of the specs. So looking first at the module, what have you got? You've got uh, Ampere Architecture GPU with 2048 uh, CUDA cores alongside 64 Tensor cores. You come to the CPU, you've got a 12 core ARM Cortex A78 processor, three megabytes of L2, six megabytes of L3. There are some uh, accelerators, a vision accelerator there, PVA version two, 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 memory, which is giving you a bandwidth of 204.8 gigabytes a second. There's 64 gigabytes of EMMC 5.1 storage built into the module, and the power is anything from 15 to 60 watts, depending on how many cores you want active and at what frequency they are running. And if you look at the carrier board that the module plugs into, you've got interfaces there for a camera, you've got the PCI uh, E slot, you've got two M2 slots, one for the Wi-Fi, one for the uh, SSD, you've got two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports with USB power delivery, and then you've got two USB 3.2 Gen 2 and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. There's an RJ45 socket for 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet. There's a display port, that's version 1.4a, the micro SD card slot, and then you've got various headers, including the normal GPO headers, and there's some debug headers there, fan headers, and so on. Okay, now it's time to do the unboxing. Now that's impressive. Okay, so here is the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Orin. Okay, and unlike the other previous Jetson uh, boards that came out, development kits that came out, this one actually has a nice uh, case on it. And so let's have a quick look around. Here on one side, we've got uh, power using a barrel jack. You can also power it through the USB-C. And in fact, the power supply you get in the box has a USB-C power adapter on it. Here you have ethernet, two USB ports, and a display port, and you actually need to get yourself a display port to HDMI converter if you don't have a display port monitor or TV around, make sure you get a converter. There is a micro USB uh, there, nothing on that side. On this side, again, another USB-C port, another two normal USB ports, and here are the 40 GPIO pins that are, again, the same as all the other Jetson boards that you can use. And then here on the top, if you can just see that, there's actually a fan in there uh, beneath the grill uh, just there. And I, and I like this thing here, look at this. This looks very nice, very well done, but look at this, you pop this off, look at that, and you've got a uh, PCI Express uh, slot there. So look, that's pretty nice. And in fact, this has a, a magnet on it here so that when it goes in there, it pretty much just sticks back into place. So that's really quite nice. So you can use a PCI Express on it uh, if you need to, uh, and it just clicks back in there when you're not using it. Now, if we turn it around on the bottom, this is where we see some more interesting stuff. Here we've got a M2 uh, slot for Wi-Fi, and there's one pre-installed there. And here is an M2 slot for an SSD, which you can put in there. And on this side, we have three buttons, and a micro SD card slot. Now by default, it actually comes with some eMMC 5.1 memory on board. So you don't have to boot from a micro SD card slot if you don't want to. It's available already using the internal memory. And so what are these three buttons? So this first one is the power button, turning it on and off. This is the forced recovery button. So that would be good for when you have to reinstall the software. It's all, if anything has gone drastically wrong. And this is the reset button. Okay, well, let's see what happens if we try to take it apart a bit. So there are four screws in these little holes here. 
uh, and they seem to come out quite easily. So let's see what happens when we undo this. What are we going to find uh, inside? Okay, so that's come off uh, quite easily like that. And now what do we have to do? Aha! So this pops out like this. Okay, oh look at that, isn't that lovely? So there is the uh, internal fan on side of this. Of course, this is much more powerful than the other Jetsons. I mean, this can run up to 60 watts. It does have different modes that it can run in, and we'll talk more about that when we do the full review. Of course, you know, this has got 12 cores. Uh, of course, it's A78 and all of that other stuff inside of it. Now, I don't think I'm gonna take that fan off. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. But clearly underneath there, is where all of the processor is underneath that big fan there. Uh, I don't have the courage to take that off, I don't think. I'm gonna leave it, leave it like that. So there you go, so that's pretty impressive. Now one thing I did just notice in doing this that actually these uh, wires here, I thought they were there just so you don't lose the side uh, thing, you know, they're kind of just, you know, one of those bits of cable that stop you from losing. Actually, it looks like it's the Wi-Fi and there's the Wi-Fi antenna there. So actually don't pull these too hard because they are actually part of the Wi-Fi. Okay, so coming soon will be my full review of this uh, development kit, including a look at all the machine learning tasks, the performance, and so on. Now, if you wanna make sure you know when that video comes out, you should subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, at Gary Explains, and I also have a monthly newsletter. Go to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, and you'll get the newsletter, but you won't get any spam. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.